Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about the decision that Manjaro Cinnamon Community Edition is taking with utilizing Vivaldi as their default web browser. Now, this is uh, something that has caused a lot of the community to get a little bit of a tizzy over. Some people are like, oh, this is amazing. Some people hate it. What are my thoughts? Well, the first thing we have to understand is let's talk about web browsers in general. What's the best web browser? Well, who's the best president of the United States? Uh, yeah, you can see we have a fight. Uh, because there is no good option. You vote for the one that you hate the least. You either have uh, the Chromium base, which Google basically produces, or you have the Firefox base, which Google basically funds. Yeah. Either way... Google is all over the place. Mozilla gets insane. They're doing crazy wokey type stuff, even though from a technical level, from the perspective of security and privacy, Firefox is still the best and easiest to customize. It's still the best to make sure that you can control what's going on. But at the same time, they do a lot of weird, crazy stuff like we need to deplatform people. We need to control the information on the web. This is, these are insane ideas that we don't want in our web browser world, particularly the web browser world, okay? We don't want these types of things. But then Google, on the other hand, they're just kind of crazy. And so there isn't a good, perfect option. There's a lot of other things like uh, LibreWolf, which is Firefox with some customizations. There's a lot of other forks from Firefox from various ages and such. Some of them work better, some of them are worse. There was WaterFox, which I think is completely compromised now, being a, an official product of System 1, which is more spyware than Google is, quite frankly. And then you have your your um, you have your Chromium, you have your ungoogled Chromium, which is a, a good open source option as well. And in the middle of all this, you have Vivaldi. Vivaldi is based on the Chromium source. It has a lot of the components. It's like something like 90-ish or so percent Google Chrome. There's a little bit of open source code that the developers put in, but then there is also some proprietary stuff. Now. The proprietary stuff in Vivaldi is only in the UI, which is the weirdest design choice to some people. It's like, of everything that you're closed sourcing, why the UI? Because there's nothing else for the free software community that will degradate the trust in your software than proprietary code. Of all things, why make the UI proprietary? Now, they do that because the UI in Vivaldi is the real standpoint. We have everything from email clients in there. You have RSS readers in there. Just so many cool things that Vivaldi does. And it really is a good browser if you can get beyond the fact that portions of it are proprietary. Now, this raises some of those concerns that some people have had that Manjaro has done, not just the Cinnamon community spin, but other, um, the main Manjaro as well, they were going to take out LibreOffice and put in a freeware but proprietary office suite. The whole community got into a ruckus about it. And then they said, well, that's kind of problematic. Let's not do that. So then they got rid of that idea. And now on the Manjaro installer, you have the option, no office suite, LibreOffice, or the other one that is free but proprietary. And that was a better option because it gives some people the, the options. It tells people that there are more Office Suites than LibreOffice. In my perspective, why would you care? But, you know, that's just me. Uh, but anyway, um, so Vivaldi itself is a proprietary. It, it is considered proprietary because the UI is proprietary. This raises some concerns from some people. And so with that, what we look at is you're now having your default web browser in a distro is proprietary. That is obviously going to turn off some people, but it could turn on some people as well because there is no good web browser. You got Firefox, you irritate some people. You go with Chromium, you irritate other people. You go with um, Chrome, oh, that just, people just don't respond positively for that in the in the Linux community. So which browser you use, it really doesn't matter. Choosing Vivaldi is an interesting choice. It is in some ways controversial, but it is an interesting choice nevertheless. 
Now, do they have the right to choose that? Absolutely, it's their distribution. It's not the main Manjaro distribution. The whole of Manjaro doesn't have anything specific to do with this. This is only the one community build that is cinnamon. Now, could this spread onto other distributions? Maybe they, uh, maybe they took the the faculty approach to the alien invasion, right? If you haven't seen that weird cheesy movie from the '90s, you know the space aliens invade some small town in the middle of like, uh, is it like Indiana or some some small place, rather than independent style blowing up the White House, okay? What better way to sneak weird stuff in than to go in to the small community build and let's see what the response is. Let's see if the whole world doesn't blow up entirely because we're going to put a proprietary web browser in. And then maybe other distributions uh, in the Manjaro community spins will add that and then maybe they might go, hey, let's just go ahead and do that. Now, is that out of the scope of Manjaro to do? No. Manjaro has always used some degree of proprietary stuff. It is like, as DT says, the Ubuntu of Arch. Okay, many Manjaros will package Steam. Steam is proprietary. Despite some people like it, Steam is indeed proprietary. And if you look at the, the other ways, the, the reason Manjaro works so well is because it's the Ubuntu of Arch. It uses a lot of proprietary stuff just to make sure everything is working well. Certainly less than Ubuntu does, for sure. But the point being that this is not the main Manjaro project. It's a small community spin. There are obviously concerns with whichever web browsers we want to use, whether or not you're talking about um, whether or not you're talking about using Firefox, which I think most distributions use Firefox because it's the free open source dominating web browser. Some people um, like Deepin and a few other ones have gone with Chrome because, hey, that's what most people use. Some people will do Chromium. Um, I like the Debian approach, Firefox ESR, have a little bit more control over what's going on in Firefox in the background. So as far as this decision, I don't really have a dog in the fight. Now I do use Manjaro on my work computer. I don't use uh, that one. Actually, I am using Manjaro Cinnamon. No, I'm using Manjaro Plasma. I could not get Manjaro Cinnamon working on the Raspberry Pi properly. And so I went with Plasma instead. Um, and I don't have Vivaldi installed on that. I have uh, Chromium and Firefox and LibreWolf for now. And I will probably install some other browsers in the future as well. That is a work computer. So I use a variety of browsers for testing purposes. Now, all that being said... Um, they have every right to do that, and I'm not going to criticize them one way or the other because, frankly, Vivaldi has demonstrated itself to be a pretty good browser, all things considering. And so with the fact that it is a decent browser, all things considering, it's not some weird fly-by-night thing. It's not just some completely closed-source proprietary thing, but it is an interesting choice nevertheless. Some people are concerned. Some people are not. I, for me, I'm not concerned. Maybe this will lead to enough people saying, hey, let's just go ahead and have the whole Manjaro project work on a web browser choice. And then you can decide, do you want Brave? Do you want um, Firefox? Do you want Chromium? Do you want Vivaldi? Because there are a lot of browsers that are decent, that are based on different things, and different people prefer different things. We now have a choice in Manjaro with Office Suite software. Maybe we should also now have choice in the browser software on install. Now, to be fair, Manjaro always has had the extra tool where you can go in and you can find quick software. You can install a plethora of different web browsers already. The question is, are some people going to be mad that it is def uh, installed by default? That is really what Manjaro tested with the Office software suite, and they determined the best thing is, hey, let's let people choose. Maybe we need to do, start doing the best thing for web browsers as well, because web browsers are like presidents, okay? They, they're, they're presidents of the United States. You have no best option, you have a bunch of weird options, and you vote for the one you hate the least. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. And do let me know in the comments down below, what is your thought? Is Vivaldi a good choice or a bad choice? Let me know. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash t-o-m-m 
or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.